And in order to learn how the Wright brothers refined and improved their flying machines, we're here at the Wright Experience Laboratory in Virginia. We're talking with Ken High. He's the founder of the Wright Experience. Now, Ken, tell me, how did the Wright brothers improve upon their flying machine designs? Well, with each new design and each new flight test, they did small refinements and small changes to their design. There may have been many problems at any given stage of the flying machine's development, but the Wrights only changed one thing at a time. They were never confused about which change was causing which results. Can that make sense? I mean, that way they could select the changes that worked and then continue to refine their design. That's right. And Jennifer, this is the result of all their hard work. This is a flying reproduction of the Wright Brothers' 1902 glider. Ken, this is quite different from their original kite, isn't it? Not really. It uses the same principle of wing warping and wing twisting that they used in the original kite. But what was so important and so radically different about this glider from their early designs was that the 1902 glider was the first aircraft ever that solved the problem of controlling an airplane in all three axes, pitch, roll, and yaw. Okay, Jennifer, this is the control for the elevator which controls the pitch, which is the up and down movement of the aircraft. Control roll, I can shift the hip cradle back and forth. Watch how the wings twist. That would change the roll position of the aircraft during flight. But also wired into the hip cradle is a control for yaw. Watch how the tail moves at the same time as the wings are warping. Okay, this is so cool, but can you really fly this? Absolutely. We have a 1902 simulator that you can fly. Come on, I'll show right. you. Jennifer, this is our 1902 glider simulator, and it was developed from the wind tunnel test that we did on this machine. Bill Hatton is our expert on this, and he is a good instructor. He's going to check you out in this and talk, tell you about the machine. Great. Nice to meet you, Bill. Hi, Jennifer. Tell me about the simulator. Uh, this uh, was based on the wind tunnel numbers generated by taking our full-scale glider and putting it in the Langley full-scale tunnel in Hampton, Virginia, operated by Old Dominion University. And the results of the wind tunnel test were incorporated in flight simulator uh, by Burl Applied Research, that's their business, making flight simulators. So when you fly the simulator, you're flying actual wind tunnel data results. So that's a lot of fun. Would you like to try it? Uh, I thought you'd never ask. I'd love to try it. <laughs> okay. Okay, Jennifer, on the left, you see your airspeed in knots. That's 21 knots, 22. That's perfect right there. Airspeed control is critical. If you get too slow, it'll stall, and too fast, it can dive into the ground. It's just elevator control and hip cradle. When you move the hip cradle, you're warping the wings to control roll, and you're also getting rudder movement with it. Well, it took some practice, and it wasn't real comfortable, but I think I got the hip thing and the elevator thing going. I was finally able to make a glide that lasted about 63 seconds. Oh, thank you so much, Bill. You're welcome. Well, how was it, Jennifer? Oh, Ken, it was incredible. It was incredible. I'll tell you, it was a little uncomfortable, and it was kind of difficult to maneuver, but um, I can really relate to how the Wright brothers must have felt. Uh, they had a lot of stamina in order to be able to do this. They sure did, and, and this 1902 glider, all of their innovations are in this machine is what they were striving for. By 1903, the Wrights were ready to add an engine and propellers. The Wright brothers' breakthrough in propeller design came when they realized that a propeller was merely a wing in rotation in a helical pattern, creating lift in the forward direction. Once they saw the propeller in this way, they were able to use their wind tunnel data about lift and drag to design an efficient propeller. Jennifer, we also have a simulator of the 1903 Kitty Hawk Flyer. Would you like to fly this machine? Of course I would, Ken. Now, while I take flight on the 1903 flight simulator, why don't you check out how to build your own flying machine and test its performance?